people rushed to California to discover gold for themselves. But the problem was it was too many people looking for the gold, wasn't enough gold to go around. Smart people saw that coming. They said, let's sell these people shovels, picks, clothes, housing, all the things they're going to need in order to look for this gold. And they became the second wave of millionaires out of the gold rush, the people who positioned themselves to supply the trend they saw coming. That's what Amazon has done, and they're doing it again with AI. They're positioning themselves, they're expanding AWS, they're expanding their cloud business to become a dominant force in AI. It's already pulling in billions. What most people don't see is that Amazon may become an AI-first company over the next few years without people even understanding what's happening. Amazon is allocating substantial resources toward AI infrastructure with plans to invest $105 billion in 2025, primarily to support AI initiatives. This investment surpasses that of other major tech companies, highlighting Amazon's commitment to leading in AI development. The company has unveiled Amazon Q, a generative AI-powered assistant designed to enhance workplace productivity by providing fast, relevant answers and facilitating content generation. Additionally, Amazon introduced the Nova series of AI models, Nova Micro, Lite, Pro, and Premiere, offering advanced capabilities in processing text, images, and videos. These tools are built into Amazon Web Services, AWS, which is already a dominant force in cloud computing and enterprise AI. Amazon Web Services continues to be a major revenue driver. They do it behind closed scenes. Most of you guys probably didn't know more than half of Amazon revenue, half of Amazon's revenue comes from AWS and their tech, their tech services, not even their products. So Amazon stock is coming back up, been 15% up in the past month. Cool, it cooled off a little bit in February, which was its all-time high. AWS was the core driver of all that movement. AI revenue starting to grow to triple digits. Uh, and they also have a new model they call Nova, which could set to rival, could be set to rival ChatGPT. Sorry, ChatGPT. Amazon also has something called Q, which is an assistant built right into their servers that helps businesses analyze the data coming in from their web services, the data coming in from their uh, websites and all the other services that they have clients on. And it can also write code. So imagine it's in a world in which you can, instead of having an engineer, software developer, a server guy, you open up a chat box from Amazon. Build me a website that sells these products, that, uh, that, uh, that sends me an email once all the, whenever the products come in, and then sends an order request to the factory so that we can produce it. You got a website on Amazon servers, and you didn't even have to have all these people doing it for you. Cut de- it already is, is in testing, it's cutting development time by 80%. That's why I think Amazon is going to go up two to three times over the next few years. Once this news gets out that Amazon's doing this, and you start to see real profit from it, because it's a hard, hard thing uh, for companies to hear about this and not go to Amazon. The ads, all they're doing very good with ads as well, bringing in $13.9 billion last quarter. And they, that can also add to their revenue. Right, long-term focus says that they can pull in 1.15 trillion a year, and over 130 130 billion of that will be profit by 2030. At that valuation, it sets the stock price from 430 to 500 dollars. So Amazon's at 204, so that gives us almost 150 percent gain in the next four and a half years. Now it's not going to go up like these other stocks, these AI stocks, Soundhound, all these others are Palantir. Uh, probably from now, Palantir, yeah, but not like Palantir and all those other stocks did in the past. But Amazon is also not going down. The risk is low. Potential is good. That's something that we always want to add to our portfolios. Now, 